Today is September 4th, Wednesday, and I'm gonna be trying the NoFap Challenge to see what will happen in the next 30 days. No fat, no fat, no fat. It was draining every piece of motivation I had to actually go and get what I needed to get to live a happy and successful life. It really, really messed up my life in a lot of ways. No fat changed my life, changed my life, changed my life. So what is no fat? All right, niggas, let's go see what the actual definition of no fat is. No fat definition, all right? We're gonna get the definition right now. Uh, we're gonna go urban, you feel me? Alright, so it says no fab, it's a noun. An online community with thousands of members who practice avoiding all forms of artificial sexual stimulation. And then it has examples like watching uh and uh you feel me. I'm not gonna say it because I'm not trying to get demonetized. You feel me? Uh let's see more definitions of it. A new epidemic sexual disorder in one's life, basically refraining from uh mainly <laughs> hey, mainly targeting at males. Uh, and then it has an example which I'm not gonna read. Okay. All right, nigga, so right to break it down to real simple, easy terms, man. Basically, it just means don't beat your meat. It's, it's that simple, okay? And you can go monk mode where that basically means you don't have. I'm gonna put it right here because I'm not trying to get demonetized. You feel me? You know what? We're gonna have a way. We're gonna have a way around it. We're gonna say instead of me saying this word, I'm gonna say crambule, okay? <laughs> All right, so look, I kind of explained it wrong, so let me re-explain it right here, okay? So there's four types of nofap. There's easy mode, hard mode, monk mode, and then normal mode. I'm not going to explain easy because it's self-explanatory, and monk mode is just extreme. Now, being on normal mode, that means you're not beating it, but you're still getting a slice of that creme brulee, you feel me? But when you're on hard mode, which is what I'm doing, you're not PMOing, and you're not getting that slice of creme brulee, you feel me? So now let's get back into the video. Now, what's the benefit? All right, so NoFab is promising a lot of benefits that you'll receive after doing it for how many days you want to do it for. And things like you'll be more confident, especially like when you're speaking to girls. You'll feel more motivated. You'll have more stamina. You'll feel more free, disciplined. You have more self-control. A lot of other things. So let's go put it to the test. I'm doing this for 30 days, and I'll report back to you guys at the end of the video on everything I felt, or let's see this magical experience, okay? All right, so today is day one of doing NoFab. I haven't gained these artificial superpowers that everyone claims you'll get in the first day or so or whatever honestly I feel the same as I felt yesterday to be honest with you so yeah that's it <laughs> All right, now before we get to the rest of the video, I have to say after day one I didn't record for the first two weeks and here's why <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, for the first two weeks, I just did not record myself at all. I did not document anything. However, though, I was writing in the notebook and I did record some information that I did feel during this trip. Now, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Okay, so listen, week one being on no fat, nothing out of the ordinary happened for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. The only thing that was really happening for me was to control my urges. Now, I would get urges at random times just having to either, you know, go get that crambule or go beat it. And I had to honestly fight through it. So I would say week one, I learned how to, I learned self-control and I had discipline. Now, week two, that's when things took a little bit of a turn, but in a positive way, okay? At this point, the urges faded away and I started to feel a little bit more free. And I released like all the negative energy that was building up inside me. I actually made a video about it and it'll be like right over here. So week two, I would say I learned to just release negative energy out of me and just be more free. And what happened from that is I just started to be more positive. A lot more good things just started happening to me. You feel me? Now I'm on week three and you know what? I got the footage for that. So let's get to it. All right. So yeah, it's been about three weeks since I've been on NoFab. And you know, each week I learned something new about myself, but this week in particular, I feel like I have energy to go do stuff. So right now, I'm about to go to the gym, go work out, and I'm going to take y'all niggas with me. So let's go. So I'm actually not allowed to record at the gym. Like I said, guys, I couldn't really record at the gym. But what I mainly did was flexibility exercises and hit cardio. Doing cardio actually kicked my ass. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. The whole time I'm on the Stairmaster climbing the stairs, I wanted to tell myself to give up. But I kept digging and digging until I was satisfied. And boom, I got the results. All right, y'all. So look, today's day 22, bro week three and uh you know i'm doing something that's out of my comfort zone okay i'm about to go get a manicure slash pedicure bro i honestly thought that was only for females to do but today i just woke up and said fuck it, i'm gonna just go do it and i brought my friend too first time for everything yeah his name is sam too We're about to go check this out all right i need this for that i <laughs> should crazy oh. i know i know it's hot yeah this shit hot as hell <laughs> how you feel I'm just you happy? 
<laughs> All right, y'all, look, so I just finished getting my nails done, and well, what's it called? I finished getting a manicure, pedicure. Honestly, it was life-changing. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> it was definitely life-changing. Day 23 in the gym. I just got done. I'm dead. I can barely talk right now. I'm dead. All right, y'all, so look, today's the end of day 24. I really didn't do too much today. All I did was read a book and then go to work, and now I'm really, really tired, so I'm about to go to sleep, but I was just checking up with you niggas, so good night. All right, niggas, so look, I'm just checking up with y'all, man. It's day 26, I just got out of work, and I thought, you know what? Let me talk to y'all. Let me give y'all some motivation real quick, you feel me? I'm 26 days deep into no fat, bro. Honestly, I couldn't fathom to even be this close. Bro, when I tell you I relapsed so many times before getting up to this point, it's hard, I know, bro. If you're going through it, I know it's hard, but you just got to dig within and just keep pushing, and that's what anything in life, bro. Chase your passion, chase your dreams. Nigga, if y'all want the results that y'all want to get, y'all got to go 100 and 10% every single day. Don't let up for nobody because why you're doing this for yourself, man. Find your why. Once you find your why, everything in life is going to come easy. Even this challenge right here, bro. I'm telling y'all. Let me tell y'all something, man. Eric Thomas, that's one of my favorite motivational speakers, man. And he has this one quote. Let me tell y'all niggas real quick, man. It goes like this. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Man, don't let that shit go over your head, man. Really think about that. You want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. All right, so today is day 27, October 1st. Almost three days until this challenge is over. And today I decided to seek discomfort. I'm out of my comfort zone. I'm doing yoga with my sister, specifically hot yoga. Okay, so she put me onto this and I said, you know what, I'm gonna go do it. And I did. And let me tell you, I've never felt like this before. First of all, I'm drenched in sweat. Didn't even drink water before I even came to do this. So I was dehydrated. Could have probably passed out. But the experience that I got from this whole trip was phenomenal. Honestly, I felt so free just, you know, participating in this event. And I'm going to just let the clip speak for itself. Alright y'all, so look, it's day 28. Today I just woke up with confidence, you feel me? This is really mad spontaneous, you feel me? I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a girl today. Fuck it, right? Because I'm on day 28, I feel good. The way I'm gonna pick up this girl, I'm not even sure to be honest with you. I'm gonna have to just pretend like I'm vlogging and see where I go from there. Alright, so look, right now I'm about to just go in the field. I'm trying to approach a random girl right now and see what exactly happens. Hi, Bob. Uh, excuse me? Ah. I didn't catch your name. Mariel. I need you to do me a quick favor, all right? Okay. All right, cool. I don't know. Let me come right here. So the do sun I is in. Be in it. I mean, I'd appreciate if you oh be God, in it. Oh cool. God, why? Why? All right, cool. I just need your honest, honest opinion, real quick, okay? So I need you to tell me which picture is most attractive. This picture right here to post on Instagram. This. Okay. Or this right here. This one. This one. Yeah. Why this one? I don't know. I like that one better. It's the the front view. It's better. You actually have some really nice eyes. Hold up. Thank you. Thank you. No. <laughs> Yo, she actually has some really nice eyes. That's cool. This one, right? Should yes, go with this that one? one. All right, cool. Uh, let me get your Snapchat too. I'm about to go, but I actually want your Snapchat is this, too. Is this being recorded too? All oh, this is being recorded. Oh, but I actually I came here to really just get your Snapchat. That was it. Oh, well, I'll give it to you. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate it. Y'all hear it, y'all see it. Guess what day it is? The last day of my no fat journey. Woo! Let's go, nigga. Finally here. It took me 30 days to get here. I'm finishing my no fab journey. Now, y'all seen it. I showed y'all day by day examples of what I was doing, man. I tried different things for the first time that I never thought I'd try before. I tried yoga. I got a manicure slash pedicure, things I'll never do before. I started reading books just to read books. Honestly, from day one, I'm even wearing the day one hoodie that I wore on day one, and now it's day 30. From day one to day 30, I experienced a lot of different changes. I would say the biggest change I experienced was just getting out of my comfort zone. I'm outside right now. It's probably like 50 degrees, and I'm making this video. I don't care that is 50 degrees it's really cold but i'm doing it just because i want to just prove to you guys my mindset has changed i feel so great about myself i'm smiling from cheek to cheek right now because i really made it to 30 days nigga. that's what's up bro honestly the biggest challenge was to overcome me just trying to get that slice of creme brulee or me just trying to you know bro i had to go 30 days without either of it 
do you know how intense that is? Especially if you're frequently getting that slice of creme brulee or maybe you out there, you're always doing this. It's hard, I understand, but look, I did it. I'm done, but I'm not done forever. So with that being said, I think my nofap experience was great. Am I still gonna do it? Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try to go as long as I can without Again, as far as getting that creme brulee, look, I love that slice of creme brulee just like any other man would. So I think I'm gonna give it like a couple more months until I probably give in and just go back to normal. But bro, this experience so far has been great. So I'm gonna just keep going. Like I'm a champion. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Sam from NJ. I make challenge videos, just putting myself at the limit. I also do public interactions like picking up girls or just, you know, comment trolling, you know, stuff like that. So if you want to see content like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button on my channel, turn on my post notifications. My social media links will be right here or in the description. Make sure you guys like this video right now. And in the comment section below, leave your best mean comment about NoFap down below. You feel me? And until next time, I'll catch y'all later with a brand new video.